Well, good morning, my love. Let me get a good look at you. <laughs> okay. You seem fine. Uh, so sorry, um, enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> I'm just going to wrap my arms around you. Make sure nothing happens to you. <laughs> because you're safe with me. And nothing's gonna happen to you. No matter what stupid nightmare says. <laughs> I just had a bit of a bad dream. Really awful dream. <laughs> and, um, when I woke up and you weren't there, I got a little alarmed. Just a little bit. Nothing to freak out over, just... I still need to calm down my racing heart. Beating so fast. <laughs> <clears throat> but you're fine. Especially now that I'm holding you. So you just keep enjoying your breakfast. And I'll never let you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm real funny. Super funny. And once you're done with breakfast, if you want to sit down and relax, um, I can hold you on the couch. Hold you real close. Because you're safe with me. I can protect you. <laughs> from anything. I will protect you. From anything. And one of these days, I'll protect you from my nightmares. Even in my dreams, I'll, I'll be able to keep you safe. And you won't just disappear. <laughs> it's stupid, really. I just had a little nightmare that you turned invisible. And then I couldn't hear you. You were just gone. I couldn't keep you safe. <laughs> you just... You just disappeared. Like, what does that even mean? Like, in my dream, I was holding your hand. And then holding you close. And I didn't want to let you go. And, and I didn't let you go. But you still turned invisible. <laughs> and then just disappeared. So, I, uh, I just thought the, the dream meant that I didn't keep you safe enough. That even though I held you, you were still able to disappear. But I'm awake now. You're awake now. We're both awake. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <clears throat> and you're safe. And I'm never, ever, ever letting you go. Maybe if I hold you while I'm sleeping, you won't disappear again. <laughs> Don't let me distract you from your breakfast. You... you keep eating. I'll be here. Uh, no, I'm fine. I, I don't want breakfast. I just want to focus on you. If I look away... What if you disappear? And I couldn't protect you. <laughs> I know I'm just overthinking, but... That was a terrifying dream. And I don't want it to be a reality. Uh... Yeah. Of course I remember our conversation from last week. Because we only had one conversation. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Sorry, I was... Being funny, uh, which conversation? Oh, uh, yeah. That one. I thought you were joking when you said I didn't have to always protect you. <laughs> no, I just forgot. Sorry. I, I, I just, after that dream, I feel like I need to be closer to you. Because what if I don't protect you enough and 
and you do just vanish. Disappear. Uh, um, yeah, I... <laughs> True. Dreams could be interpreted differently. How would you interpret it? <laughs> so, if I hold you too close, you're gonna want to disappear. What do you mean? Oh, so my subconscious wants me to give you some space. Let you protect yourself, at least for a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I guess if I'm all over you all the time, then I'd probably drive you away from me. Are you sure it's not about me protecting you enough? Because I could protect you more. I could be around you more. Or I could be so protective I go crazy and give you no space. Drive you away from me. Make you turn invisible. Who's to say whose interpretation is... The real one. The, the real meaning. <laughs> Although yours does sound more... Believable. I guess I do a good enough job protecting you. And I guess I don't need to hold on to you while you're eating. Or randomly jump scare you when I feel like you need to be... Held. <laughs> I'll just... Let you go. <laughs> Slowly, though. Make sure this is not another dream, and you're just gonna disappear. So, you're okay. You don't need to, like, guard you from breakfast or anything. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I need better jokes. Well, uh, I guess I can protect you from afar. Or just a couple feet away. Not too far. Sit down over here. <clears throat> and just watch you. Now it's kind of creepy. Um, uh, what if I just held your hand? Start off slow. Well, no, yeah, you're eating breakfast. I, I oh, sorry. I'm not used to not protecting. I love you. I don't want you to disappear. But I also want to make sure nothing happens to you. Anything could happen. Life is full of many, many possibilities. You could sneeze and, I don't know, hit your head or something. Oh, well, I guess if that did happen, you'd most likely be fine. I would just overthink and worry. <laughs> okay, but maybe after breakfast. I, I don't have to hold you, but... Maybe just your hand or your arm. Something. Just to make sure you're safe. While also being respectful of your boundaries. <laughs> Look, I... I know you don't need me to keep you safe. And you don't keep me around to keep you safe. You love me. For some reason... Even though I overthink and overworry and get way too protective. I know that you love me. And I love you. And with love comes understanding and trust. So I tr trust that you can keep yourself safe. <laughs> For the most part. And I know you're not going to always need me. But just know, when you do need me, I'll be right here. 
to love you, and hold you, and protect you, and keep you safe, and, uh, you know, just girlfriend things, <laughs> with love, and stuff, <laughs> because I love you. You know what? I'm hungry. I'm gonna make breakfast. <laughs> just, um, chew slowly, don't eat too fast, and don't laugh while eating. You could choke or something. <laughs> Just be safe. Um, making breakfast. Uh, I won't be gone long, my darling. <laughs> Please be safe.